Welcome to the first video of the MVMED Unfolded series, a complete guide to the MVMED software. This series will take you through every single step and function of the software, from the setup of a work area, to the creation of a simulation, to analyzing the data from your project, and everything in between. When starting a new project, we may be tempted to jump directly into creating the entire model of our urban area, filled with buildings, vegetation, and all other elements. However, it makes sense to first define all of the different aspects that will make up our urban environment. Being a holistic model, NVMED incorporates all of the different features and variables of the urban environment in order to offer the most complete and accurate microclimate simulation possible. Let's have a look at the features that NVMED has to offer. The first and most obvious feature are buildings, which are formed from a vast variety of materials like glass, concrete, steel and many more. They also include green facades and roofs, as well as single walls like shading structures for example. The urban landscape is also shaped by its surfaces, which can consist of natural and artificial soils and surfaces such as loam, pavement, sand, asphalt and many more. Vegetation is another very important feature of the urban area. In NVMED it is divided into simple and 3D plants. Simple plants consist of grasses, crops and hedges, while 3D plants are larger and more complex plants such as trees. Finally, pollution, which contains a variety of polluting substances such as nitrous oxide or ozone, is another important feature of the urban environment. In order to have access to these features and modify them for our model area, we first need to create a project. For this, let's open the MVMED headquarter, which allows you to access all of the programs within the MVMED suite, register your licenses and view our social media accounts. For now, we will use the headquarter to create a new project. To create a project, we click on the Data and Settings tab. Here we click on Projects slash Workspaces. A window will appear, giving us access to all available projects we have created using NVMED. Since this is our first project, we will click the button in the lower left corner of the window, labeled Create Project. We can now give our project a name. In this case, we will call it NVMED Unfolded. We will also name our project Home folder, which is the folder where all of our project information is stored. You may name it whatever you want. Now we will quickly talk about databases that store all of the information regarding the different features of NVMED. In NVMED we have three different types of databases. The system database, the user database and the project database. The system database contains all of the information for all of the features that come standard with NVMED. For example, this database contains specific data of all of the basic materials we could construct a wall out of, like concrete or steel. This database is universal for all NVMED users and thus cannot be altered in any way. The user database starts off as a blank database. However, this database can be modified and we are free to create our own materials and store them within this database. The information that is added or modified in the user database will be available to us whenever we are not using a project database. The project database is the same as the user database in the respect that we can add and modify the values of all of our created materials and contents. However, as the name suggests, this database is project specific and the information and changes within it will be exclusive to one project and will not be available when working on a different project. Remember, when using the project database, you do not have access to the materials in the user database. To enable our project to have its own project database, you need to check this box. Now that we understand the project creation and the different databases NVMED offers, we need to finalize the creation of our new project. We need to make sure we have a project name, home folder name and have selected that we are using a project database. We can now click on create and click on done. We have now created our very own project that we can begin working on and modifying. If you would like a deeper explanation of the NVMED headquarter or about the different types of databases in NVMED, you can follow the link in our description to view our Getting Started series. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next one, where we will cover the most prominent feature of the urban landscape, buildings.